up you guys have stumbled on this channel you guys are new welcome to my channel my name is monet if you guys are returning welcome back you guys i am back with a hairstyling video we are going to be reviewing this hair this cute bob for atina hair i will put all the information down below for you guys definitely check out the links in the description box that's going to lead you to this wig um you guys have been asking so many questions about this bob and i wanted to come and show you guys the details now i did receive a 12 inch bob um, I decided that I did want shorter so just going forward because I do not like the hair on my shoulders I am going to go probably for a 10 inch or shorter um, so I ended up cutting off about 2 inches um, I would say I kind of want to go back in but quickly just cut it off um, I used just some regular shears uh, from Sally's as well as um, my trimmer that I used to trim my edges um, or trim my hairline um, I would say the clippers absolutely makes this a speedy process um, so what I'm just doing is just cutting it into an even bob. You guys, I really wanted a blunt cut. So I'm going to run my flat iron through it just so that way I can see and make sure it is nicely layered. Um, I do have it a little bit stacked in the back. I may end up going back in, you guys. But this is pretty much how the bob looked. Um, now, I unfortunately got somehow something happened to the original footage of me unboxing it but this is the unit out the package wanted to show you guys how it looks so you could wear this glueless um it does come with a band inside of it as well um the only thing that i did to it literally was i did spray a little bit of tint on the lace um and then um i also cut it as you saw prior um, as far as like the plucking and everything like that y'all this wig is a beginner friendly wig It comes pre-plucked y'all see that I lifted it up and it still looks natural So this has not even been secured So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and quickly apply this unit if you guys would like to see how I apply it um, You can check previous videos and I also will put all the products that I use down below So you guys this unit it did not take me anything to apply this like i love when i get a wig and it has the thin lace oh my goodness you guys because when i say like the melt process is so simple i applied maybe one or two layers of spray and it was so easy to lay down and it just effortlessly blended into the skin um like i said i did add some tints i will put that down below for you guys um, but this is crystal lace and so that's just another word for like your transparent lace uh, so i'm just gonna go ahead and get my baby hairs but y'all do y'all see that like that is no band it looks already blended um i am gonna still add my band as you see just because i feel like that just helps everything come together and just melt even more I'm just going to run my hot comb as well as my flat iron through my hair. I like to take a comb and just kind of work it through, whether it's at the bottom or at the top. I feel like this just helps in making sure that I get that sleek, straight hair. Um, and I did want to make sure that the bob was as straight as possible um, and that it just looked really, really nice. Um, straightening it also, I do recommend um, if you guys are going to try to cut it yourselves at home so that way you're able to see the true length of the bob. Now, because I was cutting it on the mannequin, I am going to go back in probably and just cut off just a little bit more just to make sure that it's even. I'm going to take some frizz ease. Um, I've been using this really, really handy. I don't know if it's the moisture in Texas or what's going on, um, but I did notice that there was some flyaways, and I just want to make sure that it's real nice and sleek because it is a bob, and I like to make sure that it's just I don't know put together.
I'm gonna take the back of my hot comb and just run that through on the roots area just to make sure that it gets as straight as possible. And then I'm just taking some concealer on a brush. I'm gonna use that um, on the part just to make that look natural and that way I don't have to pluck it with my tweezers. Um, I feel like this is a great way if you choose to wear your wigs and kind of change them from the side to the middle. It gives you that option without having to commit by plucking. Next, I'm going to add just a little bit of spray. This is to help those flyaways that are at the top stay down. Um, but also, I'm just going to take my shears and just cut anything that's standing up um, after that just to make sure it looks nice. Um, next, y'all, I just went ahead and finished what's going on. I decided to not do any baby hairs. Um, I wanted this to be like a clean hairline so that way you guys can really see how this unit looks to see the plucking. This is what you guys are going to get outside the box. I have not done anything to this unit um, other than cut it like I'm doing right now. So I'm just making sure everything just looks even um, because I do like I'm not a fan of bobs but you guys I love like when I see somebody with a blunt cut bob oh my goodness like it's everything for me. Um, so I do have a little bit of an angle going on which I do like. Um, I may decide to cut it a little bit more, but I'm just going to make sure it looks good. I'm combing it so that way you guys can see how it looks from the back. Baby, I did that. Like, she did that. Are y'all feeling this bob? Y'all, the hair is super, super soft. The lace is super, super natural looking. I would definitely have to say this is one of the top hairs that I've had um, that I can say that is actually beginner friendly for someone who don't have to do the work. Um, now, if you are wanting this length, I would suggest to go to the shortest length that they have available, which I want to say it starts at a 10, but it may go shorter than that. But do y'all see that body? Let me shake that for y'all again. Like, I need y'all to see that. Like, it is definitely giving. I like it. So you guys, this is how I ended up rocking the unit. Um, I decided if I wanted to rock it, you know, with it pulled back, I could. Um, I, I don't know. I always like that. But it's definitely giving lots of volume. Um, it is 200% density, so it is a super full bob, but still giving you that natural, relaxed type look. Um, my cap size is actually going to be a medium. So my head is quite small now that I cut it. Um, so it's about a 22 to 22 and a half. But baby, I definitely love this bob. Um, Atina did their thing with this. Definitely check them out. I will put all the information down below. Yes, this hair is super, super gorgeous, you guys. Let me know what you guys think. Definitely drop a comment down below. Let me know. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you have not. Thank y'all for watching. Y'all know I'm not like a super fan of bobs, but it's it's definitely giving. It's definitely giving something.